Now this, another armored truck heist ends in gunfire. One suspect is dead and police are searching for another guy. Yeah, they've been looking from the air and on the ground for nearly nine hours. This happened up in Willis. Jason Miles talks to police who say they have never worked a case like this before. Police spent the day on two different scenes here in Willis, a suspect search on this side of FM 1097 and that Chase Bank where it all began. An ATM a Brinks guard was servicing remained open as this investigation started around 930 this morning. Police believe two suspects were after cash when they surprised the employee who was also armed. They approached him with a handgun. Uh, he fired uh, a known number of rounds at this time. Uh, struck at least one guy. The body of that guy, identified as a 27-year-old from Houston, remained in the parking lot as multiple agencies started their search for his alleged accomplice, who was seen running across the road and possibly into a wooded area. HPD, uh, DPS, Texas Rangers, FBI, uh, ATF. A number of witnesses told police they heard lots of gunfire before seeing the suspect who was fatally shot collapse next to his car. Thank the Lord that uh, Brinks was armed and ready and took him down. And uh, he paid a pretty big price for that. Well, you know, you do the crime, you pay the price. Chase customer Mary Jones was glad neither she nor her husband were here at the time shots were fired. He's supposed to have been here early this morning. I thank God that he didn't come early this morning. Willis police told me part of their investigation is to figure out if these suspects may be tied to other recent armored truck robberies in the Houston area. The type of crime this town is not used to seeing. So I've been here 15 years. We had one bank robbery several years ago, and this is the first time to have something like this. Police described the second suspect only as a slender man wearing dark clothing. Surveillance video from the bank may be released later. Call police with any information. In Willis, Jason Miles, KHOU 11 News.